Well, there's definitely an interesting debate that's been drummed up online. And, well, one article in particular is getting a lot of buzz and a lot of people are talking about. It comes by way of Lost Letterman. Com. They have a list of the top 10 best college towns out there. And let's start with number 10 on their list, and they have Athens, Georgia. I don't think there gets much better than down there, really. I mean, beautiful weather, obviously the community, and Athens, Georgia, the UGA, their school, their campus is pretty freaking nice. Move on, and let's go to number 9 on the list. Happens to be... Well, Princeton, New Jersey. If there was one on this list that I will have to disagree with, it'll have to be Princeton, New Jersey. And here's why. Weather? Guess again. You get rainy, crappy weather. Princeton, yes, is a beautiful town, but you venture three miles outside of Princeton? Yes, I've been there, folks. It's a frickin' armpit. Let's go on to, let's keep counting down. Let's go to number eight on the list. They've got Charlottesville, Virginia. Now, I hung out there for about a weekend and a half. There is nothing there outside of Charlottesville. However, in the town itself, it's pretty cool. There's a ton of bars. There's a ton of college kids. This city, this town is around because of all of the college kids that go there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about Madison, Wisconsin. You can't tell me there's sunshine ever there, ever. However, as far as sports go, this school is on the upside right now, for sure, both in football and basketball, mind you. Their basketball program has done very good. Uh, Berkeley, California, this meets all the criteria. They've got sporting programs. Football has always been there. Basketball has been pretty damn decent. Baseball, they almost lost their program, but they were nasty this year. As far as the local community, they embrace Cal Berkeley because they are considered to be one of the top tier programs, uh, excuse me, educational programs in the country. And we'll talk about Ann Arbor, Michigan. Weather, on a scale of one to 10, you get about a zero. As far as athletic programs go, you've got football. You've got hockey right now. Basketball was a little bit better this year. Boulder, Colorado. The CU Buffs, obviously their football program has been on the up. Now as far as beauty goes, uh, yeah, you are not gonna find any campuses, I'm sorry, I've been to a bunch of schools, so there are no prettier campuses than CU. Meanwhile, moving on, let's go ahead and let's talk about number three, Palo Alto, California, being, well, that's Stanford, folks. Uh, beauty, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one sets it up for you. It's a pretty picturesque campus. You obviously have pretty decent programs. Their baseball team has been on the for national forefront year in, year out. If you were born in North Carolina, 90% went to UNC Chapel Hill. Year in, year out, their athletic programs are phenomenal. Yes, absolutely. As far as campuses go, very pretty, very picturesque. Finally, the last thing on this list, on their list, happened to be Austin, Texas. Think about this way, folks. Texas football, forefront of all of college sports. It really is. When you think college football, you think Texas football. You really do. I'm sorry, but you do. Basketball, they've been very good. Baseball, they've been very good. So everybody knows about their athletic programs. That goes without saying. So